Hey all. Uh, this was a Shimano TLD from one of the videos I did um, a couple days ago of reels that came in this week. And this video is for Dave. Um, I guess, I'm guessing just based on the way he speaks, he's from Australia, New Jersey, I mean, or New Zealand, I'm not sure. Uh, so I hope that's not profiling. Uh, but in any event, this is for Dave. Um, he chose a few reels. I just chose one of the reels that he chose. And this one seemed simple enough to get in and out pretty quickly. This TLD doesn't crank well in, when it's engaged, but in free spool it's fine. And my contention was that it's, yeah, that's pretty tight, is that it's the, uh, the pinion bearing. So we're going to verify that or not and see if it's something else. <coughs> uh, so while I open this up, let me remind you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like the videos that I put out. Uh, be sure to hit the like button as well if you do. <coughs> hit that uh, bell notification when you subscribe so that you can get updated on videos whenever I put them out. And also be sure to tell your friends about the channel. I'm gonna speed this part up. It's just on doing these, well, I guess maybe I shouldn't. You guys might wanna see this. I'm just undoing this ring and the screws to get inside there. I think this is the older, uh, like from the 1980s, TLD, or very early. You can tell these by the handle, but I forgot which one is which. I think the black handles ones are the ones that were first generation, or from Japan, I'm not sure. But it looks really good if it's an old reel. That's the point I'm trying to make. So let's try to keep it that way. That's enough of that. Let's take that out. Ooh, pretty dry and funky. Uh, and what Dave asked for was um, a complete rebuild or breakdown of the of the reels that he asked about. Uh, so I'm guessing Dave hasn't looked at my other videos. So I'm gonna put a link to somewhere. I don't know where it is. Somewhere there. Yeah, somewhere up there over there I think I'm not sure where uh, to the TLD breakdown that I did and 
Dave, if you're watching, you can check that link out if I can get it up. And if not, you can just check my other videos and find it that way. All right, so I'm removing the, <coughs> the handle so I can get that gear out of there. Um, so I can access the pinion bearing. Or somewhere. Okay, that's that. We're going to pop this out with any luck. And then we'll change that out and see if it works. Pause the camera to get something else to take this out with. Oh, fit. <laughs> Gotta be careful, you crack this plate. I think it's moving. Yeah, we got it to move. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that was difficult. But as you can see, this is full of rust and completely locked. The turning you see is actually turning in my hand. The bearing itself is not turning at all. So I think we found a problem there already. Let's go ahead and get that put back in and or put a new one in and verify that it works. I'm gonna cut to just this going in and <clears throat> uh, the reel put back together just so we can test it out, okay? Okay, now I did want to say that even though we can tell that this uh, this bearing was bad or, or shot, there may still be some other things wrong with the reel because of how bad this looked. But the fact that it has such a good free spool on it, I'm guessing that's probably about it. Maybe some odd cleaning here and there, and the pinion may be difficult to get off. Um, I don't know. However, obviously I'm going to go back into this reel and clean it all up and get it serviced. But this video is just for demonstration purposes only as to like how as to how to diagnose or limit or narrow down what the problems may be and the fix for it. So let me just tighten that up. It might be too much. I'll make sure I have free spool still. No, I don't. Yeah, so we may have some issues in there. Or maybe something I did. Yeah, it's something I did there. Let me pop that up. <clears throat> These reels can be funny to work on sometimes. You got to get that set properly to, uh, to get them to work. Otherwise, you just are spinning your wheels in the sand.
Okay. That should be, should be fine. Okay, so let's try it out. And there we go. Working nicely again. All right, I hope that helps some of you guys out there. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to the channel if you like the videos that I put out, as well as the bell notification. And I will see you guys next time.